an argument over $200 worth of firework turned into a deadly shooting. Now a grand jury says it will not charge the shooter. Now, if you remember, the shooting happened again back in February near Parkville. Two men were shot and killed. The man who fired the fatal shots now cleared under the Stand Your Ground law in Missouri. Tonight, KSHB 41 News reporter Leslie Delisboer breaks down Stand Your Ground law and how it applied in this case. This all happened after a dispute over $200 worth of firewood. In this case, uh, a man had contracted to have firewood delivered to his house. He then left and left his 20 two-year-old son to, to supervise the delivery. After he left, the, the men stopped unloading wood and delivered far less than, than the wood that had been contracted for. This then led the son, Jonathan Mitchell, to pursue 34-year-old Caleb Lawson and 44-year-old Jonathan Lutz to a location near Highway 9. Everybody got out of the car and, and one of the men who delivered the wood got out of uh, out of his vehicle with a gun. After an exchange of words and showing of weapons, shots rang out for Mitchell, leaving Lawson and Lutz dead. But today, Zahn's office announced a grand jury declined to indict Mitchell after hearing from Mitchell himself and a teenage witness who was present at the scene. The pursuit itself doesn't necessarily change anything. Again, this wasn't a sort of road rage incident where these people didn't know who was who was following them. According to prosecutors, Mitchell was defending himself under Missouri's Stand Your Ground law. Now, under Missouri stand your ground law uh, if you're in a place that you have a right to be and all of these people were in a place they had a right to be along the, the side of Highway 9 no one had a duty to retreat from that situation. However, criminal defense attorney John Priserno says stand your ground law is not a simple self-defense argument. Stand your ground would never work in a fact situation where you pursued somebody who you felt stole from your home and then you pull them over on the side of the road and then you get out of your car and you approach them with your firearm drawn and then you fire shots. You know, that would be murder. And there are three key facts to keep in mind when it comes to stand your ground. You have to be in a reasonable belief that you're in danger. So that's number one. Um, would a fact finder find that, you know, looking at these facts objectively, that you're in reasonable fear of danger? A second, is it imminent? Um, in other words, do you, you know, um, is it going to happen right then? Um, and then third, um, you do not have to retreat anymore uh, in Missouri as of, you know, the passage of the law in 2016 that you can stand there and you can defend yourself. In Platt County, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.